scientists have just revealed they found a new way to make mosquitoes less annoying, and detailed they would like them to start curing diseases. In the past few years, scientists and researchers have worked together in order to come up with new ways of helping the world around us, and an article which was published in the peer-reviewed journal Nature Communications on December 16th showed that researchers had developed new technology that can turn a mosquito into a flying vaccine carrier. The team of Chinese scientists said they have provided new evidence that could turn these annoying creatures into helpful ones, and that this could change how certain diseases get spread. Professor Zheng Ahayu said the following, Our study provides a future avenue for developing a mosquito-delivered vaccine to eliminate zoonotic viruses. The scientists continued and said the mosquitoes could help with reducing viruses within populations that are hard to reach, and that it could save animals that are on the brink of extinction. These genetically modified mosquitoes have been tested already, and the researchers said that once the animals were bitten by these mosquitoes, they had a long-lasting immune response, and once this has happened, it helps stop the spread of various diseases, many of which take out millions of people. One mosquito in particular is known as the Aedes, and it transmits the Zika which can then be passed on to locals. When this article was submitted, others questioned whether the mosquitoes could be used to protect humans against certain viruses, and interestingly this isn't the first time that mosquitoes have been used and modified. The group Anonymous recently sent out a message warning people and officials that the release of genetically modified mosquitoes may not be the best idea. Members of the group said there's definitely advantages with modified mosquitoes. For example, they're said to reduce the spread of infections, and that these new mosquitoes will mate with existing wild mosquitoes. And because their genetic makeup is different, it means that their offspring won't survive, and wild populations that are considered a pest will decrease dramatically. But the group also noted that these Frankenstein creatures may pose an undetected threat to not only humans, but also Mother Nature, saying that they may develop new unknown pathogens that could also be harmful to humans. The project wants to reduce the AD species, saying that they're responsible for most of the spreads, and residents complain about them being pests. On May 1st, the US Environmental Protection Agency granted an experimental use permit to Oxycom, the company behind the mosquitoes to release them into the wild. While officials have said this is fine and that they won't have any effects on people, residents close to the release area aren't sure how to feel about this, with Anonymous saying these genetically modified mosquitoes could damage the ecosystem and may actually create a super durable hybrid mosquito that is resilient to insect repellent. According to Oxitec's website, the company has said that when first releasing these mosquitoes in Brazil, they received positive results. The company has also said that the government has signed off plans which will allow them to release these mosquitoes in Texas. According to Oxitec's website, the company said that when first releasing these mosquitoes in Brazil, everything went to plan. Now the company has announced that it's planning on releasing another 2 billion mosquitoes, and that they plan to do this across Florida and California. This new species has been called OX5034, and the researchers have said the idea is that these new lab-created mosquitoes have a self-limiting gene, and further noted that they're all male. The two billion mosquitoes that will be released into the world will make carrying on their genes difficult, with the researchers saying they know it's only female mosquitoes that bite humans because they rely on blood to produce eggs. So the idea behind the release is that the modified males will produce with the wild females. The males who are genetically modified will carry a protein that will stop the female offspring before they reach a mature age. According to scientific research and published data, it's been revealed that in US states and territories, around 1 in 20 people with symptoms of Zika virus infection during pregnancy had a baby with Zika-associated birth defects, further saying that some babies with possible Zika infection during pregnancy might look healthy at birth, 
but can develop long-term health problems as they grow. Global Health said the following on their website. The insect that annoys, bites and leaves you with an itchy welt is not just a nuisance. It's one of the world's most deadliest animals, spreading diseases such as malaria, West Nile and yellow fever. The mosquito takes out more people than any other creature in the world. In 2018, the number of severe cases of West Nile virus was nearly 25% higher in the continental US than the average instance from 2008 to 2017. In the past 30 years, the worldwide incidence of dengue has risen 30-fold. 40% of the world's population, around 3 billion people, live in areas with a risk of dengue. Dengue is often a leading cause of illness in areas of risk. Lymphatic filariasis is a parasitic disease transmitted through repeated mosquito bites. It happens over a period of months and it affects more than 120 million people in 72 countries. In 2017, 435,000 people died from malaria, and millions become ill each year including around 2,000 returning travellers into the US. Nearly half of the world's population is at risk of this preventable disease. You can protect yourself from these diseases by avoiding bites from infected mosquitoes. The health organizations are committed to providing scientific leadership in fighting these diseases, at home and around the world. End quote. So what do you make of this recent announcement? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.